What's up guys here it is Khan Dubai back again with another video for the customization of your Realme 2 Pro or any other Android smartphone device. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to use the ADB over network feature in any of the Android devices which you might be using in your case and that too uh, within a few simple steps all right so let's get on to the point without wasting any more time the first thing which you need to do is to make sure that you have enabled developer options and have enabled the usb debugging so let's just uh, do it and let's make it sure that we have done that right we have to make sure that we have enabled the usb debugging option and developer options first before even enable the usb button so what you do is just go into the settings of your device and go into about phone and then just uh, click or like tap seven times on the bill number all right just do that and you will see a prompt like in my case you can see like it says no need you are already a developer that means that uh, i don't need to enable it because i already enabled it before so you need to just go into the settings and then enable the developer options then Go to the developer options in my case it's in the system settings so uh, i go into developer options as you can see right now and then you need to scroll down and when you will scroll down you will see this uh, usb debugging option and you have to enable the usb debugging option and uh, after enabling the usb debugging option let this settings uh, like uh, interface remain open okay just connect your device through USB with your laptop, whichever uh, laptop or PC which you have to connect your device, uh, devices ADB over network. Okay, you have to connect to that computer or laptop with a USB first. So connect it, you will see a prompt for authorization as soon as connect the device, as you can see right here, to allow the USB debugging. So I will check the allow, always allow from this computer checkbox, and then I'm gonna click on allow option. And after that, I have to enable the second option, which is just below the USB debugging option, ADB over network. It might be somewhere else in your case in the settings menu. After enabling the ADB over network option, so make sure that you have enabled the ADB over network option, okay? After enabling it, just disconnect your device, okay? Okay, from your PC, you must would have heard the sound. I disconnected it. And now, uh, just enable the ADB over network option. Okay, after enabling it this will make sure that our device is authorized now we'll get on to pc okay so that's it about what you need to do with your android device or in your android device the rest of the part will include what you need to do in the pc and i will gonna attach it separately in this video like merge it with this video or maybe i will gonna you know, upload it as a second part okay what's up guys here is khan dubai back again with another video and this is the part two of the video where we were talking about how to use the adb over network feature so as to connect your device your mobile or your android device to your pc or laptop over a network which you which both the devices are connected to uh, through adb right so one of the very important points which i forgot which is very obvious before even starting to watch this video was that both the devices your laptop and your android device need to be connected to the same network right so your devices need to be connected through the same Wi-Fi with the same Wi-Fi right only then you will be able to actually use the ADB over network feature otherwise you won't be able to use it so just make it sure that you guys are connected to the same Wi-Fi network okay and uh, after doing what I told you in the Android device enabling the USB debugging and the ADB over network features in the developer options you have to do this come in your laptop then you have to open command prompt as administrator right run it as an administrator so I will run it as an administrator and then click yes here and then our administrator window for command prompt or command prompt in administrator mode will open up and here i have to type the following command just type adb connect adb space connect space the ip address which was uh, shown in your mobile device while you were connected in my case it was displayed as soon as i enabled the feature adb over network in the developer options it got displayed below the option itself as a uh, you know text in the option itself so you can just take a look over it from there and then type the ip address here so i will type the ip address and just hit enter and you will see this kind of prompt which says connect it to uh whatever ip colon uh four times five right so that's the kind of prompt you will see and that means that you are now connected to the device whichever you want it to be connected to so I really don't have an idea which commands you can use, which ADB commands you can use. 
so as to do stuff with the device which you are connected to through your laptop or PC. But I will just try to execute the very basic, uh, one of the very basic commands that is ADB reboot, and we'll see if it works or not. So I was going to execute this command, and uh, I typed ADB reboot, and the uh, phone actually rebooted. All right, so it rebooted, and uh, I guess the reboot is completing or something. After that, I will see the prompt back again. Or maybe it is because like as soon as I reboot my device, it is like, you know, uh, the connection got uh, interrupted because of the reboot and it got disconnected, right? The devices got disconnected and uh, that is why the thing didn't got completed. Like, hey, you cannot see the prompt coming back again. But I guess since this command works, almost all the ADB commands are uh, executable through ADB over network feature now and you can just use ADB over network to do whatever you want like pushing applications or you know, files through your laptop to your phone or whichever uh, is your requirement right so that's it guys I hope you like the video if you like the video then hit the like button below and do subscribe to my channel for more of these sort of videos and do not forget to hit the notification bell icon to keep yourself updated with the latest videos which I upload on my channel and if you have any kind of doubt across the video then you can just ask me about that in the comment section below and uh, that's it I guess and I will gonna see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and before uh, signing off I would just say that if you have any other doubt or problem which you want me to make a separate video on then you can also suggest that in the comment section below so I will gonna make a video on that particular topic alright so that's it I will gonna sign off and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video till then goodbye